you've asked for more ideas as i get the ideas when i'm busy designing i will definitely share this is one that is very exciting um it's a tech logo it's 100 percent free on canva we're gonna jump in on canva use photo p as well as remove.bg so join me today i'm using my free account so that we make it a hundred percent free design you're going to access canva.com you're going to create a design and you're going to select logo and we're going to be using a blank canvas for this one i'm going to make it a little bit big so we can all see then you're going to access elements and then you're going to go to lines and shapes and you click on see all you're looking for this and you're going to add it as a T just for inspiration. I'm going to put in a T so that it helps us with our design so we know what we're creating. Anyway, back to the design. Once you've added your element, you're going to go to at the end of the line and you're going to select the first one that doesn't have anything at the end of the line. We just want this futuristic zero with the line for our design. Then we have our T. You're going to copy that and duplicate it. Line. And then you're going to press L for an additional line because you're looking to make a T. So you're going to rotate the T to 90 degrees and then move it so that it is just about at the end of our T. Then we're gonna move it a little bit up and we're gonna duplicate that. Then you're gonna move this additional line next to our T and you're gonna move it to be like halfway point and then you're gonna add one more of these futuristic shapes or you can copy and duplicate that other one. And you add it to the bottom of your T Make sure that there's no extra gaps over there so that it looks flawless, your design. And then you are going to move your T to zero degrees like that. And there's your T done and dusted. And you can highlight, change the color and group this T and move it so that it is aligned over there. Then you press T for text because we're gonna add the additional text of our logo. You're going to look for a techno font that's also free. So you can type tech or techno, technology, so that you get different kinds of results that you can use for your design. I liked the Mokoto. So I'm gonna go with the Mokoto and I'm gonna add the rest of the name of the company. You're gonna highlight everything, group it, size it so that it's in the middle of the page. And there's your design done and dusted. So in order for you to have this T fully closed, like you saw at the beginning of this video, you can duplicate this design and go to the next page and then you can add a shape that looks like that. And then this shape, you can just size it that's covering the whole t that's a design choice so once you're done you do have a choice of making a nice 2d for your client or for yourself so you can have a gradient background or you could have a blank background and go change it and make it a 3d on photo p so if you wanted a nice gradient look you're going to go back to your elements and you're going to look for gradient. So you type gradient like that and you go and you find a nice bluish futuristic like this one or that one. And then it gives it a nice kind of a, a bluish, beautiful kind of a feel. So we can also change color for that one and make it beautiful, beautiful logo design 2d and we're ready to jump in on photo p so if you're done and you're comfortable you just download this design so we're gonna go download because we don't have a paid version we're gonna 
not have the transparent background we're gonna download it as is so we're gonna click on page one and say done and download and once it has downloaded you're gonna go to remove.bg and you're gonna upload your design see canva doesn't if you don't have the free version it doesn't allow you to download with a transfer transparent background where you see the checkered box so that's why you use remove.bg or you upgrade your uh, version of canva 2 pro you can use my link below then you click on download and there's your design downloaded now you've got your 2d downloaded with a transparent background you're going to go to photo p and to make things easy for you you're going to use the templates that are already on photo p i've uploaded this 3d mock-up for us this glass window one you're going to click on glass window and then you're going to click on this link that says photop.com jibba 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 jabba and then you wait for the mock-up to load once the mock-up has loaded you're going to double click where it says your logo so that it shows you this checkered background it loads the fonts as well then you hide the text with the eye you click and you drag your 2d logo that has a background removed so you size it your logo and then you're gonna go file save as smart object if you don't see save a smart object you did not follow the process or you're using iphone go find the video on my um, playlist that will that will help you fix those problems once it has converted um, to smart object you're gonna click once so it says 3d glass window logo and you wait and it will convert to a beautiful 3d logo that looks like this if you don't like the pixelated or if you want to have the light the backlight switched off you just click where it says backlight and you have a nice beautiful color um, logo then you're gonna go file export as png and then you're gonna rename your logo over there to techno logo and then you're gonna change your width i've noticed if i change the width it takes away the pixelation on my downloads so if i make it 1.5.1.5 .1 the outcome looks much better it looks less pixelated compared to what it looks like on the design itself and that is how you create a technology 100 percent for free this nice tea can be used as a tea on your social media and etc i've done a video for social media or favicon um, that i'm releasing on saturday but you can find it on the playlist as well so go watch that video thank you for joining me today i always enjoy this creative sessions that we always have I will see you on our next video.